one of the reasons that around 10 years ago, people really started uh, looking for other qualifications in the field of finance and accounts is because of the introduction of the new Indian accounting standards, which we call INDAS, I-N-D-A-S. Uh, INDAS are new accounting standards uh, that ha India has adopted from some global standards, right? So that all of our accounting of all our companies can be sort of uniform with all other financial statements across the world. Like that was the concept. So where they adopted India's from is from something called IFRS, International Financial Reporting Standards. And when we study CA in India, or at least back five years ago, when we study CA, under the accounting subject, we used to learn the old Indian accounting standards. Today, when you study the same thing in CA, you also learn the IFRS or the India's aspect. But think about it, five years ago, when the whole country knew that these new accounting standards were adopted, nobody knew how to really work with it. So all the chartered accountants, all the people in the accounting field had to upskill themselves for uh, to learn IFRS. And for that, they started pursuing this program called Diploma in IFRS by the ACCA body. So in this video, I'm going to quickly cover who are eligible for these courses, for whom these courses are, and what are the details of this. So I hope it helps. If it does, please subscribe. And as always, if there's anything else that you think we need to create, please leave it in the comments. So to start off, uh, the Diploma in IFRS is the exam and the certification is held by the ACCA body based out of UK. We made, of course, detailed videos on ACCA. Please have a look. When it comes to the eligibility, are you eligible or not? Uh, it's quite simple. If you're a chartered accountant or if you are a student who's l somewhere in your after intermediate CA, you've covered two years of work experience or you've just a graduate with some experience in accounting and two years experience in accounting, you are eligible for this course. Most of the times I have seen people who are qualified in some form have entered the field of accounting. They will end up doing this course because it's more of an upskilling course. And remember guys that upskilling is something which from now almost all of us have to keep doing for the rest of our lives because the world has evolved where whatever you've learned in your college or little after that your MBA or something will not be enough. So if you're in the field of finance or in the field of accounts, you'll have to upskill constantly. And uh, if, if, that's the state you are in, right? You've cleared CL a while ago. Diploma in IFRS might be the right course for you because it's relatively short and easy. So that's the eligibility part. Coming to the academic structure, first, foremost, the paper. It's a single paper. You can complete by studying just for a couple of months. Maybe three months is good enough. That also a little bit on weekends, a little bit on, you know, at the end of your day. It's not too difficult, right? It's like you have to learn accounting standards and if you have some exposure with even the old Indian accounting standards, learning these new accounting standards or IFRS is not going to be that hard. Uh, the exams are held every June and December. So that's you have exams held twice a year. And the exams are a three hour, 15 minute exam. Uh, you have centers across the world that are completely computer based exams and you need to score a 50 on 100 to clear these exams. The paper is a mix of multiple choice questions, which are objective questions as well as subjective questions. All right. Now let me quickly take you through the value of this program. Learning IFRS is going to give you a ticket to go around the world and work anywhere, either in a particular company and help them with their accounting. Uh, one of our faculty members uh, is an IFRS expert and he currently is the CFO uh, of an Indian group where uh, it's 11,000 crore securities company. So uh, that company has multiple branches in India, in other countries, and to report it, they need to sort of consolidate all the financial statements. The value of knowing IFRS. Uh, one of our now full-time team members in, the, in our finance department used to work with ICICI securities on uh, financial reporting, which is essentially IFRS India's. Uh, the scope is quite large depending on your background. If you're already a chartered, it's different. If you're a, if you're an intermediate student, it's different, etc. Et if you're just a BCom, it's different. It depends on if you have any work experience of your past or not. But no matter where you are, studying this three month program, I can say, will give you enough of a boost. Lastly, when it comes to the cost, uh, the fees, okay. So for you, I would say start to end, you can finish the entire course in around 40,000 rupees. This includes your training fees, exam fees, registration fees, uh, any other fees that any the study material, all costs included. Uh, so if you register by yourself, 
the fees are as you can see on the screen that you pay to the ACCA body. Zell has some benefits which we pass along to you all along with the training cost. So I guess that sort of covers all the details that anybody would need to know. Is it for you? If yes, what are the details? What's the value? What's the fee structure? And as always, if there is anything more that you would like us to create videos or even solve for this particular topic, let us know. Thank you.